Chris Mahalso here from BTX Technologies. Today I wanted to take a minute to talk about the InnoGenie Share 2U. Your top panel is where all the fun is. These are those nice, big, soft buttons that you can really feel a, a tactile response when you press them. Very, very handy. Because remember, the whole point of this product is so you don't have to use the menus in Zoom or Teams. You can just do it all right from your desktop. Right now I have input number one selected and you're seeing a USB webcam. Of course, if I go to input number two, we're gonna to switch to my other webcam, also USB. But if I hit number two again, it's gonna to toggle to my HDMI feed from my laptop. Of course, if I continue to hit that number two button, it'll flip between those. I can also do picture in picture. And if I continue to hit the picture in picture button, it will move the inset to the four corners of the display. We can also go to a split screen and we can go to a one big and one small side-by-side -side version of that. And whenever you're hitting the arrow button there, that'll change which is the big one and which is the small one, whether you're in picture-in-picture -picture or split screen. It'll just flip them back and forth. Here you have USB 3.0 service ports. These aren't part of the switching architecture, but they're really handy if you want to connect mouse or keyboard or conference audio. Just so in the end, you only have to connect one USB cable to the computer and everything will just go through the share to you. That's your USB 3.0 capture output. Of course, that's going to run to the computer. And then you've just got indicator lights for power, USB 1, USB 2, or HDMI. This button here is not used in the out-of-the-box configuration, but it's programmable, so using InnoGenie firmware or their setup software, you can assign a feature to that button, which I think is a really handy feature. Now going around to the back panel, of course you've got a 12 volt power, uh, 12 volt power input, you've got audio in and out on a 3.5 millimeter analog audio cable. This is great if you're trying to take a tap off of a mixer or maybe a wireless microphone, or if you're trying to output to speakers in the room or some sort of amplifier. Uh, there's your USB 1, there's your USB 2 and HDMI. Those share that second input, remember, so that's what I was talking about with that button. It'll flip between them if you hit it again. This is an HDMI output. Really handy if you've got confidence monitoring or a projector or display in the room. RS-232 control block and also LAN control. Both are supported, so if you're in an environment where you're sending TCP commands, that's going to work. And also, if you're doing any of the uh, supported codec stuff like UVC, those are supported too, not just for input, but for output. We think it's a really important product that solves a really common problem. And of course, you can get it at BTX Technologies. InnoGenie offers a robust control software that you can download for Mac or PC. Just to run through it quickly, each of the buttons uh, are controllable and you can change what they do and also monitor what they are doing. There's a preview feature so that you can see what's going on with all of your video inputs and your video outputs, because remember, it is a USB device, so it has access to any video output connected to your computer or connected to the Share2U. You can flip the camera image from within the InnoGenie in case your camera doesn't support that externally. This can be handy if you've got it mounted upside down on a ceiling or something. And this is also where you set up the LAN configuration so that you can control it over TCP. There's a complete onboard audio mixer, so audio from USB 1, 2, or HDMI, or line input can all be adjusted in relation to each other. And the same goes for audio output. As you can see, I've got all my various options listed here, and I could send audio out of any of them. And of course, your line out audio level has its own separate control as well. Over here on the right, it gives you some of the vital statistics about what's going on, um, how your device is connected, and you do have a firmware update button available. And you can also reset the device from this panel too.